Welcome to Engineering Concepts. In this video, we are going to talk about actuators. An actuator is a device that uses a form of power to convert a control signal into mechanical motion. In simpler terms, we can say that actuator is a device that makes something move. In order to move, actuator uses a form of power and converts it into a mechanical motion. There are three typical energy sources for an actuator to move something. They are the actuator can use air, hydraulic fluid, or electricity as a form of power. If the actuator uses air as a medium, it is known as a pneumatic actuator. If it uses hydraulic oil, it is known as hydraulic actuator. And if it uses electric current as a medium, then it is known as electric actuator. Activators are used for a wide range of applications. We can find them everywhere. When we go for shopping, the door of the mall opens automatically. In automobiles, the electric door locks. It is easy to remotely open and close heavy or high windows or window coverings. Activators are used to tilt the solar panels to directly face the sun as it moves across the sky. Activators are used to raise and lower cutting blades of cutting equipment in paper industry. Actuators are all around us. In manufacturing plants, we can use actuators to operate valves, fluid couplings, dampers, to name a few. Pneumatic actuators can utilize a cylinder, diaphragm, or a rotary vane design. Compressed air acts upon a piston to move it in one direction. A counter force consisting of a spring or a second volume of compressed air is applied to the opposite side of the piston to reverse or maintain a position. Out of all three types of actuators, pneumatic actuators cost less than other actuators, but operating cost is high because we also need to install an air compressor to generate clean and dry compressed air. When it comes to maintenance requirements, the price is highest of all three activator types. As we need compressor, install it at well ventilated area, most preferably outside. We need extra piping and so on. Hydraulic activators operate a piston with pressurized oil. The pump sends fluid from a reservoir through a control valve to a cylinder. The high power density of this system has certain advantages. It allows for high thrust, fast operating speeds, and accurate actuator movements. Hydraulics tends to have a high initial price. Routine maintenance usually involves periodic replacement of seals, o rings, etc. Electric actuators utilize an electric motor and gear reduction to produce a force or torque. A variety of technologies can be used for an electric actuator design. Motors may use AC or DC power. Gearing systems can include warm gear, spur gear, scotch yog gear, among others. Gear lubrication may consist of an oil filled gear box or heavy duty grease applied. To the gear surfaces. There is a wide variety of electric actuators on the market with different technologies, prices, performance, and quality. While electric actuators can be a great choice for many applications, but they are not universally useful. Electric actuators cost more upfront than other types of actuators, and even though they can be less expensive to operate. They are best suited for situations where you need only small number of actuators. So depending on the your operational requirements and working conditions, pneumatic and hydraulic actuators may be better choice long term. That's especially true if your application will require high speed or force. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more engineering concepts and happy learning.